Hello everyone and welcome to the latest TBU merch review. I'm Dustin from the BatmanUniverse.net and today we are taking a look at the Spin Master Moto Tank Bane vs. Batman set. The first thing you're going to notice from the set as we take a look at the outside packaging is that we have that blue color that we've seen on some past packages that we've reviewed. This is part of the second year's worth of releases and it has that Bat Tech theme that we've talked about on, on on past reviews as well. This is kind of interesting specifically because there's this is the outside of a Batmobile that is also coming that will have that blue coloring on it. This is one of the first vehicles is actually featuring the blue elements of the Bat Tech theme that is not only on the Spin Master toys, but some of the other toys that are released as well, including items from Fisher Price for their Imaginex line. Now, as we dive into opening up the box, I want to take a quick moment to talk about some of the past vehicles that Spin Master has released because there's kind of like two different versions of vehicles that they have. So the first version that they had was they obviously they have the Batmobiles. That's on a tier of itself. We reviewed some of those Batmobiles. They had a standard Batmobile that was a two-in-one, uh, a little bit more inexpensive. Then they also had an RC one. Some of the vehicles that have released over the past year include, originally there was a Clayface and a Bat Cycle. That, that specific set we obviously reviewed on a past review that was Batman and Clayface for, uh, versing each other. And then Batman was included with a Bat Cycle vehicle, which was a smaller vehicle, obviously nowhere near the size of a typical um, Batmobile. But then we had a special version of Batman that was exclusive to that set, Clayface, which was an oversized figure that has not been released in other sets. And then there was a pair of gauntlets. You can check out that review. We have that as an, a, a past TBU merge review. But then some of the other sets that have released over the past year, there was a, at one point, there was an exclusive set that featured a Batman ATV and a Copperhead figure. Now, Copperhead has popped up in the past in other sets. This set was exclusive because, of course, yet again, there was a specific color scheme specifically for Batman, and the ATV vehicle was yet another vehicle that they had. It also included two small accessories. There was also a couple of other ones uh, earlier at the very end of the year. There was a set that featured the same bat cycle as the Clayface one, but in a blue color scheme, a uh, light blue, and then Joker was included rather than having that. That was a Target exclusive. And there is also a Joker tech armor set where Joker has a vehicle. I think that's actually a tech set that's part. We just haven't seen that yet. But as we take a look at this specific set, not only do we have Bane, we have a new vehicle and we have an exclusive Batman. We have accessories. So as we take a look at the vehicle itself, I will say overall this set is extremely simplistic. There is not a lot of action elements. There's not a lot of elements in general. It's really for looks and for just general use. So you do have two wheels on the bottom, even though it has it appears as if it has giant treads. It clearly just has two small wheels on the bottom of it that allow it to roll. There are guns and rocket launchers on the front of the vehicle, which adds to the the elements but there is nothing that will actually fire from this there is obviously a spot for batman to sit with the actual controls and uh, that that's the extent of the actual vehicle itself it's very very you know there, there's very little going on here but I, that's intended because these these sets are not very expensive as we take a look at the exclusive batman figure this is very similar to some of the past batman figures we've seen obviously the biggest difference is going to be the the color scheme, we see a lot of that light blue, kind of techy blue that we've seen in some of the other tech sets uh, that have released over the past couple of months. But the real cool thing about these figures, and I've said this in, in past reviews of Spin Master figures, is there's a lot of articulation when it comes to these figures. You have, you know, their, their shoulders obviously move, their elbows move. So there's a lot of elements here that are, you know, that make these figures a little bit more than just the standard figure. When it comes to the feet, not only do the knees have full 360 articulation, but there's also the hip joints. There's also the, I guess you would call them the quads. Those shift as well. You have the the head can actually turn. Jumping over to the Bane, Bane figure. Now, this Bane figure is actually the first time Bane has popped up in the four-inch line from Spin Master. There was previously a set that released that had 
Bane as part of the 12 inch figures last year where you would get Bane and Batman in a set itself but this is the first four inch version or four inch line I should say version of Bane that has popped up now the one thing I will note is that uh, while there's a lot of detail as far as obviously the venom pack on his back and the hoses going down his arm and into his head the one thing that's kind of off-putting to me is that for some reason it seems disproportionate I'm not sure exactly why his hands and arms hang down basically to his knees. It seems like they're just a tad longer than they should. But you still have a lot of that same articulation that you have in the Batman figure, even though this figure is much bigger. Compare that to, let's say, the Clayface figure from last year. There's a lot more articulation here compared to that Clayface figure that released in a previous smaller deluxe vehicle set so there's a lot of uh you know you can obviously pose the character in a variety of different ways it's nice because you can obviously move the the character's head and his feet but like i said as you look at it from afar it does appear as the proportions are just a little bit off now included in this is two set accessories some of these accessories you may recognize because they're very they're exactly the same as some of the accessories that come in the individual figures that you would get as part of the normal four inch line when you buy them individually so we have a jet pack we also have a grenade launcher the grenade launcher um, has some fins on it that conveniently match the uh, the vehicle itself the jet pack has that spot on the back where you can easily pop that into the spot on Batman's back and I will say I've mentioned this in the past about the capes but it's convenient that the cape actually has that slot in it when you don't have the jetpack necessarily on Batman's back it does kind of look a little bit weird with the hole randomly in the cape but if you were to put the jetpack on, it works perfectly. Now, when you look at the figure on the vehicle itself, I will say the format or shape, I should say, of the vehicle and the figure doesn't seem to match as well as you would anticipate. The one thing that's odd is you can tell exactly where the feet should be sitting. You can obviously tell where the hand should be holding. But for some reason, the body just does not bend exactly the way you would want it to, to be able to get that motion. But... That's what it is. So overall, this was an interesting set of figures. I will also mention that this figure is available at Walmart. There's an exclusive version of this exact set, and it just comes with a lot more of accessories instead of just the two accessories. I believe it comes with 12 accessories. Um, but overall, this is an interesting set. It's a nice little addition. Um, it's not going to be very expensive. You do get two figures, so when you compare it to the Batmobile, the two-in-one Batmobile that doesn't have a figure, and that was one of my major complaints, this obviously not only has a, a, a hero character but also a villain as well so if you're interested in purchasing this item please take a look at the affiliate link in the description below where you can find a link to purchase this item specifically on amazon and help out tbu in the process if you are interested in checking out any kind of other information related to the Batman universe, specifically relating to movies, TV, merchandise, video games, comics, and everything else related to the Batman universe, be sure to check out our website, thebatmanuniverse.net. You can follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and join our Discord to chat with other Bat fans about all things going on within the Batman universe. If you have any uh, requests of things that you'd like us to review in the future, be sure to check out the link in the description where you can get in touch with us and we can potentially review those items in the future. With all of that being said, this has been another TBU Merch Review. Thanks for joining me and we will see you guys next time.